people judge strictly off of looks instead of the content of a person's character. Like, say, for instance, if you saw me out in public with a girl like this, you might say I have standards. But the thing that you don't know is I got to wake up to this, nigga, God damn. But look, see, does that make my standards any lower now that I can, like, what if I find this more attractive? What if this girl had the absolute best personality I've ever encountered in my life? Who are you to say that I have low standards just because of how she looks? Nigga, I know my girl be going through it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm ugly as shit, nigga. I ain't going for I know she lowered her standards just to be with me because, nigga, like, before she got with me, the niggas that she posted as her man crush Mondays were Usher and Trey Songs. And then she settled for this. Nigga, you know damn well she lowered her standards for me. Nigga, I'm ugly as a motherfucker. Nah, but in all seriousness, though, this is the reason why a lot of content creators don't post their significant others because they're going to be judged just like I'm Dante and his wife. We're not going to find the same things attractive. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, for instance, with me, I'm attracted to an ass like this. And I'm no less attracted to it knowing that this is a stomach. If anything, it makes me more attracted to it. You know why? Because I like big women. Who are you to tell me that I have low standards because I like fat bitches? That's why there's so many closet BBW lovers. Just because niggas are scared to be judged by society for their love for big women. Look, what I want y'all to take from this video is to embrace your own standards. Don't let anyone else's opinion alter your personal standards. What's up, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for actually joining and actually watching and actually diving into the world of craziness that I'm about to get in today. So what's going on? Well, it's... Well, it's Monday. Monday the start of the work week and a fucking it was okay start of the work week of course um we had a wonderful weekend didn't we first off I want to say thank you to the Utah Utah Outcast hit me on the show for Saturday and we you're gonna see the episodes released throughout the week as we normally do and um I want to say um I had a wonderful after. What was that morning speaking with Jill the other day, yesterday, actually. Wow. And I did not expect that one coming. And it was interesting to say the least. And um, I admit I was being an asshole to him, but it was fucking fun. It was fucking hilarious. And it was fucking awesome. But anyway. Um, I was talking with a friend of mine and. I was trying to figure out what video should I actually do today. I was thinking, should I do a D-Roy video? Because I really want to do this D-Roy video. Should I do some just, you know, mixed bag, trail mix, whatever the fuck they want to call it. Toss salad. Well, I know D-Roy wouldn't mind tossing a couple salads. But that's neither here nor there. Um... Just trying to figure out what videos that I should actually do. And, um, God damn it. This video has been on my docket for a while. And I guess I'm going to have to do it. So, um, sh sit back, relax, and strap the fuck in, boys. Because we are going to be doing a long-ass video. And we're going to have D-Roy Cruz, your life applications officer, actually doing it. What's up, Vegeta? So we're going to be doing D-Roy Cruz. And I would play the video, but uh, I 
I know that uh, a lot of times that actually gets um, claimed. So let's um go ahead and go to this video. And why don't we bring it up right now? All right. So, 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 so. Um, how's everybody doing today? And God, let's 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 get the customary like shit out the way. Playback speed one and a half because we are dealing with D-Roy Cruz here. And um I'm getting back into Minecraft, so yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So let's start. All right, folks. D Roy Cruz here, your life applications officer. Let me all right, so first of all, the self-appointed life applications officer, D. Roy Cruz, um, is here now. Actually gonna be speaking about I'm sorry, I'm just reading some Minecraft shit. I'm gonna be speaking about a collaboration that God is Gray actually did with um Mr. Athe Atheist. Uh, Mr. Atheist Jimmy Snow. And um, D-Roy, I know I have a half-assed production. Um, graduating to be a full shit show sometimes. Um, but but D-Roy Cruz, my man, technology needs to be your friend. And we've known you've actually done better, but you're still trying to record on your phone, dog. That's That's not cool. But let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Let me get my face in there. Put my face in there if y'all want to see my face. I guess y'all do. No, we don't want to see your face, D-Roy. D-Roy, D-Roy, D-Roy. We don't want to see your face, dog. But I, I guess you're gonna put it in there. Let's, let's go. All right, here I am. Let me make sure everything's good. Okay. Uh, D-Roy Cruz here, life applications officer. Let me go down here this time. Okay. Um. A tale of uh, two ladies and dear Mr. Atheist today. I wasn't going to do any videos um, because a friend of mine passed away over in my old hometown. Um, a pastor friend of mine passed away just this week of the coronavirus, and I just got done doing some immoral videos on Facebook for him. And... Um, been trying to all right i'm not gonna make fun of this part like dude the coronavirus has affected a lot of people i actually know somebody who passed at the beginning of the coronavirus um issue now there hasn't been any determinative cause if that was the case but like she had health issues and it could have been the reason why she is no longer with us but you know yeah that's it's not good. I'm not going to make fun of it. Uh, keep, uh, yeah, I'm just starting this I'm world out. The cricket stuff is at the top of the screen. Okay. Wish I can get rid of that. Oh, I did. Oh, Danny, I got rid of it. Okay. Good. Um, you can, uh, tell, but, um, I just got done dealing with, with this tragedy friend of mine, pastor friend of mine dying of the coronavirus, and uh, he had a bout with cancer, and God brought him through all that, and like, like, this shit isn't over, coronavirus shit is not over, it is still something that is affecting everybody, and um, I will be glad when people realize the world is not going to go back to what it once was, and like we need to actually relook at how some of our society is ran <clears throat> socialism but um we also need to look at how we just interact with shit and how we handle pandemics because they're going to be coming at a rise but uh, again i'm not trying to use somebody else's past and for my own personal agenda the trump administration has actually already done that but let's continue and uh now this um, and he's out of here. Okay. Um, 
he will greatly be missed, but never ever forgotten. Like my mother, like my initial first pastor, um, I'll never forget him. Um, and I haven't even known him that long. Um, I met him through my pastor. But, oh, you know, those gold up there. when people come up in the faith like this that have really, 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 really have grown up in the faith and really matured and uh, been taught and trained and, and, like myself, have dealt with the hardships of the faith um, and then have learned how to overcome all these obstacles while being in the faith. Like this video here that I'm talking about and many other videos, people are very um, degenerate about their relationship with God or any, they're very ghetto, I'll put it like that. All right, so this is where we have the issue. So, um, and I made this ignorant ass comment when I was watching um, Jill's Bible stream the other day. It seems like a lot of these people actually, when it comes to God, it's not that they're coming up with any theology. It's almost as if they're coming up with bad fanfic. Like for real, you ever hear two Christians argue about who they think and what they think God is? It literally sounds like bad fanfic. Bad fan fiction. It's like the shit that you like, and I'm an anime person, so it's like the shit that you hear for like theories and ideas and head cannons for like Dragon Ball Z. Like, no, God does this. No, this is the reason why God works this way. And it's just like, dude, you, you sound like a couple of nerds on the internet just saying like, my, my God has a power level of 2000. And like the shit is just like, it's, I would say it's sad if it wasn't for the fact that so many people die from the shit of literally people being mad that their hair cannon doesn't work versus how somebody else's hair cannon works. It's sad. Like, like, let's be honest. It's fucking sad. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, We should do better. But let's continue. About their relationship, so-called relationship ship with God because I don't see that as one but a lot of Christians so-called Christians are very ghetto about no true Scotsman ladies and gentlemen no true Scotsman but let's continue God like this woman I'm gonna talk about in this video her channel name is God is great God is great and um, that's not true. That is not true. So here's the thing. Like, and I've said this before. If you want to believe your God is a monster, that he's just an asshole, that he wants people to worship him for no other reasons, but it gets his dick hard. Cool. But don't make him loving. Don't make him to the point where, oh, he's just all powerful and all knowing and all loving. Like n those things don't work together with the shit that we see in reality. That doesn't work well together. Yes, he did. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, X, you haven't seen this motherfucker like Okay, I'm going to open up the window and we're going to actually do it. So, for you guys, and shout outs to Hannibal and Monty. For those of you guys who are watching my video and haven't seen it. Oh, D-Roy Cruz. Oh, shit. I was supposed to open up a YouTube tab. Open up a new tab. I don't know I want to play this because... I, I don't think people have actually seen this video. So. And I should have started with this one. Hannibal Amati, shout out to the video. And my screen just froze. All right, here we go. Roy 
cruise here your life so i'm playing this awesome. to let you know why i have an issue with this month number one anyone that's been watching my channel knows that i'm not black conscious neither do i baby spoil or agree with black people Just wanna thank you, Lord, that I can breathe today. Oh, I can breathe. Hey, Roy Cruz. I love me some white people. Hey, Roy Cruz. I, I love me some white people. That's another dumb thing that black people jump. That's that's, that's another dumb thing that black people jump. I love me some white people. Black, 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 black. Next to every good black person is a fuck. It gets better, trust me. Now that's just a piece of the song. Look here, you stepped in the drag nuts territory. I'm the mob, nigga. I'm the mob, nigga. I love me some white people. I'm superior than a lot of blacks because I follow the right culture. Like, why are you bringing those in here? Are you trying to tease me with treats, or, or what are you doing? And even clean. I, I think women are naive. I love Jesse Lee Peterson. I think he's got a great mind. Oh, he watch mouth. He watch goddamn mouth. And I'm thinking, brothers, sisters, somebody, somebody know this. Signing off. Give me something, and I'll write a video about it. God bless. All right. Shout out to Hannibal and Monty. Like, yeah, yeah. So, of course, with a fool like this, of course, I have to make a video about him. And I'm stalling because this is a fucking 15 minute long video. And mind you, I have this man already sped up to one and a half speed. So, let's continue. Um, but Pastor Lovey was not ghetto about his faith in God, his faith in the Lord Jesus. He was very, very, very rooted, we like to say. Rooted and grounded. Okay? But getting on with it. Um, I bet he was probably giving somebody in the church a root. I'm just saying, like, you know, like I, my pastor was, you know, Praying on a lot of women in the congregation. I mean, I I'm not saying nothing that it would say something that some people would actually get that position of power because they want to have control over people. But hey, you know, some people like some people want to have that position of power to have control over people. But anyway, let's keep going. We have here Miss Goddess Gray. We have Miss uh, Far Away Distance, oh, which was the first woman that you just saw as I was starting, the young girl, um, I have been blessed to keep looking at so much of her content over the last 24 hours, um, on and off, because she has a gift to share her faith. Um, she says some things that even today. <sighs> uh, wait, 
I wonder why he has a gift of looking at that content. <laughs> okay, okay. So if you haven't heard of D. Roy Cruz before, like he fetishizes any woman that is not of his in his own particular skin affliction. He has fetishized Asian women. He has fetishized, you know, let's just say he's fetishized white people because for some reason he believes that they are better and he's better than what he think, what he thinks of black folks. But, you know, let's continue. She said that uh, hell is not about what sins you have done but who you've done them to. And a lot of people like this argument here with Mr. Dear Mr. Atheist, uh, Miss Gray, and then you got people like uh, uh, yes. Miss Faraway Distance who have different views on what the Bible is all about and what the Christian faith is all about. What I don't understand is why do people, and I believe this exposes them, this exposes them, and this is why I am a life applications officer instead of a theologian or an apologist. Because yes, remember, guys, he's a life applications officer. Now, mind you, and you know, I'm far be it for me to talk about somebody's life, but this man literally is living in a hole in a wall apartment. He is literally, literally living alone and spends his life here on YouTube talking about how he gets in confrontations with people in his job because they just get in confrontations with him. Because I like to present myself as a life applications officer. I don't present myself as a life applications officer because I think I'm somebody special. I consider myself a life applications officer because I'm talking and I'm dealing with all these crazy conversations or these crazy dialogues or whatever you want to call them. You have to, by definition, think that you're important because you think that you're just great by literally calling yourself a life ap applications officer, D-Roy. D-Roy, dog, I'm going to help you out with something. You think you special, my friend. And it's okay. I know I'm somebody who's special. I know I'm important. To me, to whoever, I know these things about myself. It's okay for me to have the braggadocious behavior to say, Hey, listen to me because my opinions are important. This fake ass humility of what we know isn't you, man. That that doesn't work. So let's continue. They're getting us nowhere. Um, and I'm not trying to be nice. Oh, speak of persons who think they're more important than their people around them. Hey, Jill, how are you doing, my friend? Hey, how how was that Raymond that I gave you and you came on my chat the um yesterday? It's like Miss Faraway Distance. I don't have these girls' names. Um I don't have um the gift that she has to sweet talk people into um coming to know the Lord. People want you to beg them to know the Lord, and then you got people like her meta making fun of people for begging you to come to know the Lord and begging you to, you know, you know. What's the magic trick, Wajita? I'm just saying. But it's Hermit Meta. Get the person's name right. We wouldn't want you to call, we wouldn't want, you wouldn't want us to call you D-Boy Cruz. Like, stop, man, stop. But let's continue. And I agree with her. Like, how do you ask an atheist and try to understand from an atheist why he's an atheist? Yeah, you're going to say some stupid stuff um, when you get in a conversation like that. I don't give you that kind of respect. Neither do I let you have the floor like that. I know why you're an atheist. Okay, so, um, A, you just want to sin. B, you just hate God. C, um, no good reason, and you should... That you're not really an atheist, or D, I'm too dumb to ask somebody else really what their positions is, and I just want to, you know, straw man them to hell. Let's see. I know why you're an atheist. You're an atheist because life is not working out for you. 
in the worldview, as you put it, your worldview that you're running with. And so you got to keep going back to the source the, where you place the blame. You got to keep going back there and trying to dig a hole for yourself. Oh, see, we have, we have, you just mad at God. Oh, wow. Wow. Great. D-Roy, D-Roy, let, let me, let me help you out with something, my friend. No one's so mad at somebody to just, just denounce them existing. Things don't work that way, man. That's not how shit works out. God, um, God. All right, cool. Um, but that's, that's not it, man. There's no evidence, dog. And if your God was so powerful and so strong and knew what it take to convince everybody that he's real, fuck free will, just appear to everyone, dog. So well, let's continue. You know what I'm saying? That's like somebody, you know, running around the yard from what they feel is bullets. And they're trying to dig a hole for themselves so they can hide in there. And that's what y'all do. Like, wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. what? Wait, wait. That's like somebody running around a yard, what they think is bullets, and them digging a hole for themselves. That is literally what a foxhole is, fox is D-Roy. That is quite literally somebody digging a hole to get away from bullets wow my friend let's continue like um you know you think that you're under fire under fire by who under fire by yourself you're shooting your own self in the foot okay ain't nobody forcing you to be anything ain't nobody asking you to be anything that you don't want to be like this is like a whole thing of like really dog like Shit, I gotta come back down here. Cause there's just so much shit down here. Okay, okay. Damn it. Alright. I gotta turn back. Um, but yeah, this is a whole thing with him and just feeling like I don't like I don't know if Dinoy realizes that he's actually just he got indignant because people don't believe in his make-believe. And that's just, that's sad, man. Like, why are you indignant about it? People don't believe you. It's like, and just to go back to the fanfic thing, it's like these people, in order, they need a, 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 a fucking consensus. Of the fact that, no, 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 what I'm saying is right. See, believe what I'm saying is right so I can make sure I feel better about the shit that I'm saying. It doesn't work like that, dog. It, it just doesn't. But let's continue. You can get along. Let's get this straight right now. You can get along and just be fine. Living your life as a non-Christian. Whether you be gay or a fornicator, or, or, or whether your thing is drugs, or whether your thing is just being an arrogant SOB, whatever. Why you call yourself a nice guy? Whatever. You will be just fine in the world. Okay, and, and I, I want to actually, I don't think a lot of these guys realize that, but Christianity didn't always exist, man. And People were fucking and getting high long before Christianity became a thing. I'm going to need you to realize that, D-Roy. I really need you to realize that, my friend. But let's continue. But I think your victimization complex comes out because you're afraid that you won't be fine. And instead of saying, I don't feel right, I feel lost, Wow, wow, dog, come on, man. How is somebody playing a victim when they just believe that, you know, hey, I don't believe the same shit that you believe in? How is somebody playing the victim? Please explain that to me. I feel like there's something missing. Exactly what you You want to come to the Christians and point the finger. And you, some of you are so deranged and arrogant for nothing. For nothing, for absolutely nothing. Wait, the guy who calls who who styles himself as 
the life applications officer is literally sitting back and saying that other people are deranged. Is he literally saying that? Like, really? Is he really saying this shit? Like, come on, D-Roy. Come on. Come on now, man. Like, no, nah, dog. You can't be. You can't be. Let's continue. That you think that, oh, if you defend the LGBTQ community when you are supposedly, supposedly so far from gay, okay, you super straight, okay? Um, okay. Okay, so here it is, another hallmark of D-Roy's, you know, one of the things that's going to always be in this video, this homoeroticism, homophobia that he always displays. I am somebody who defends the LGBTQA community. But I neither one of those letters. I would say normal or straight, but I'm just not those descriptions because there is no normal. There is just people that like to fuck people of opposite sex organs and people who don't or like them all or don't like any. It's no fucking normal, D-Roy. I, I think you need to understand that. It's no fucking normal. It's just whatever you like. But let's continue. Um, the homosexuals ain't getting offended like you are when we say that we don't agree with that lifestyle. We don't agree that, that okay, that that's has anything positive to do um, with anything when we say that wait I don't give a fuck what you agree with dog listen listen D-Roy 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 I'm gonna say this I believe in polyamory I believe in the fact that you know some of the ways that we do relationships are shit I can give a flying fuck about what you agree with dog I can. I, I literally can. I'm not asking for your opinion or your advice or your applications, Mr. Life Applications Officers. But let's continue. Um, that, that does not promote the righteousness of God. When we say that atheism does not promote the righteousness of God, um, homosexuality does not promote the righteousness of God. And it's funny how a lot of these atheists, they, they just jump right in. Now, mind you, there are passages in the Bible where, you know, some of the bestest, bestest men in the Bible, according to your book, may have engaged some homosexual activities. Noah, that's why he cursed his son. He knew his father's nakedness. Oh, we know David and jo Don Jonathan was fucking because they disrobed and hugged each other. And, you know. Let's talk about other motherfuckers in the Bible, like Lot did, like, got drunk and hid children with his daughters. Got super drunk. He didn't know what was going on, but he had children with his daughters. That doesn't sound culture at all. But let's continue. In there, like Matt Dillahunty, for example. He'll get into a debate. Ain't nobody said nothing about nobody gay. Ain't nobody said nothing about anybody being transgender. He just show up and just say, he ain't winning an argument, so he'll say, well, it's just like, you know, are we talking about gay people? No, Matt, nobody said anything about gay people. Nobody said nothing about transgender people, Matt, why are you pulling that in there? But you're putting that in there because you're so deranged that you think that you're being a hero by claiming that everything is love. So, okay, so let's, let's just have this conversation right now. So you actually see him... This is another person that has a hat, a heart on for um, uh, Matt Dillon, honey, for no other reason but senpai notice me type bullshit. Has such a heart on, and it's just like, why? Like you think you're like you think he's Goliath and you're fucking David, and you you're gonna take him down a peg because your God is real and you can prove it. With, and the fucked up part about it is, now I'm, I'm not somebody who dick rides anybody. Like I'm a fame person of just like 
I'm one of those people that says, kill your heroes. And quite frankly, quite frankly, if somebody has a platform that has a bigger voice, great, 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 great. But if you take down Matt Dillon, honey, you don't magically win atheists. Like, aha, I won the debate. Like, no, motherfucker. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. <sighs> but let's continue. As long as it's no threat to you. Not knowing that it might be a threat to somebody else. Now, one of the things that, and Wajita brought it up in a clip, in a, in a chat, and I want to say this. What I'm doing is letting D-Roy actually speak. I am responding to the points that D-Roy is actually making. Why the fuck does D-Roy even have this video in the background if he's not going to respond to it? It's almost as if he's just saying, look at the people that I don't agree with. Look, see, ooh, look. He is literally not having a conversation about anything that's going on in the video. He's just talking about, as Drag calls them, his penny candy stories. Well, let's continue. For example, a lot of these kids that are gay, and they've been gay since they was kids, how do you think they got there, Matt? They didn't get there because they were sitting there and they saw a hairy, a hairy dude walk by with all his hair showing in there. <laughs> Wait, what? Is he thinking that, like, people are convincing people of their sexuality? That's why they're acting this way? Does he really believe... But you know what? We have had videos and stories of him actually saying that when he was younger, he used to dress up in his grandmother's clothes and he used to think that he looked pretty until somebody had to tell him, like, you, you, you're not supposed to do that. And he was convinced at that point that he shouldn't do that and he should be straight. And like he doesn't have any homosexual tendencies or fantasies or any like homosexual erotical erotical things. He doesn't. He 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 doesn't because he says he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. And I got an erection. Something happened. And to fix it, we'll go gay. And so he's also one of these people that believes that somebody much to make somebody gay. Like he, he literally has stated in the past that Somebody must have did something to make some to make a person gay versus, you know, his whole thing of like he claims that he's not gay. He's claims that he's straight. He can have that agency from the time that he was born. But nobody else can have that agency. Come on, D-Roy. Come on. And blame God for it. To fix it, we'll go gay and blame God for it. Just like I know a young lady who was heterosexual for a long time. Now, mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you. Dero has made instances in the past where he talks about how his daughter is a lesbian. And, like, I want everybody to remember that in the story that he's about to tell. And then one day, she started writing in little notes and stuff and hiding them that she was gay. And one of the people that she wanted to get gay with was one of her teachers in school. <sighs> okay. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this and we're going to actually try to Would, would you like nobody is timing him out jill nobody is timing you out don't time jill out um don't time jill out let the let the person let jill speak in chat don't time him out D just let him let the troll have fun 
I he's not really bothering me. I I I unlike G Man am somebody who can ignore trolls. I don't have to make three hour long videos about them. So let's continue. Hello. She trying to get gay at a young age. She ain't even 18 yet. She trying to get gay with someone twice her age. Now, either the teacher in school been saying things to her or she been watching too much TV or something. Now, mind you, like, I am somebody who knew my sexuality at around seven or eight. I didn't know why, but I knew I liked girls. I knew that was something that I fucking liked. I'm not saying that I was like, you know, slobbing on the tongue and I'm down at seven, but I knew I liked girls. That is something that just in like, I liked a lot about them. It's seven. And when I hit puberty, man, man. But again, I'm allowed that agency because it makes you uncomfortable to feel like somebody else may have that agency at that age as well. Get, get the hell out of here, D-Roy. Let's continue. But like I said, ain't nobody just sitting there minding their own business and they say, you know what? I was born gay. No, something happened. Okay, something happened. And there's not a single child out there like, where did you even learn the word gay from? The same place you learned the word straight from, you idiot. Like, for real? For real. I, I tell you this, D-Roy. D-Roy, there have been, it, according to your Bible, there have at least been 2,000 years or 1,300, uh, not 1,300, 3,300 years of people being gay. Now it may not have always been a uh, English the English word gay maybe it's been laying with another man or some shit like that but we have an English word for it it is more than motherfucking 6 years old D-Roy it has been around for a while my, my god like that's how words work and i get it maybe you want to be one of those idiots that try to censor people to actually say well, no, you shouldn't feel this way, but come on, D-Roy. For real, dog? For real. Let's continue. How does a child that ain't even 10 years old, okay, claim that he's gay? How does he even know where the word gay, well, how does he know what the word gay means if somebody don't explain it to him? Is it me or did, like, I know D-Roy said he had a friend that was hopefully arrested because he, he offered D-Roy to abuse a child. But, like, you have, if you, you would have friends, dog. You, dude, I knew more about sex than what I was supposed to at the age of 10 because I had friends. Like. Do these people think that they keep their children like in a uh, hermetically sealed like bubble boy box and that their children don't know what shit like that is? Like I don't know, D-Roy, like what is your what what like what it like how does that even work? Let's continue. And does, does he know what the word gay means because he saw somebody else doing something gay and he asked about it? Or somebody, or was it somebody trying to get gay with him and felt that they needed to explain what they was trying to do to him? Wait, what? What? Whoa, conspiracy theories abound. Like... Do I have to go? Do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? Like, besides him thinking that every gay person is the product of a pedophile or a pedophile themselves. At 10, 11, I kind of was, I knew what straight was. I knew what I liked. 
And there were there were people in my in my elementary school knew that they weren't completely straight. That's not D-Roy. That's not somebody preying on people. That's just who they are, my friend. Why, though? Why did you feel that? Do you have a guilty conscience about something, D-Roy? Do you have a guilty conscience about something? Let's continue. Yes, he is projecting. I'm talking about victimization. I'm not saying that in 2020 that people don't naturally. I know one thing they do naturally today, Ooh, and shit. it deserves to be understood. And somebody has to, somebody has to account for this. Like now, right now. Don't come over here calling me no bigot until you explain some things to me. Yes, yes, Leroy. Somebody have to explain something to you where you have no, like, I don't even know how to even say it without sounding sarcastic. No one has to explain shit to you, D-Roy. If you want an explanation, come watch my fucking videos. You are not the end-all and be-all of somebody's choices in life. Oh, my God. Even your own children. Your children are their own fucking people. And for you to sit back and actually say, no, you have to explain it to me how somebody can be gay. Like, no, D-Roy, you're not owed that explanation, dog. The only thing you're owed is a passing amount of respect. And that's if you chose to give it to someone. God damn. Well, let's continue. Because what I'm seeing in 2020 is that more and more people are bisexual. So, so we've been fighting all these years to make homosexuality legit and to stop being a bigot about, I'm about saying, did he just really say more and more people are bisexual all because of 2020? Did he really say that bullshit? Did he really say that bullshit? Like there haven't been bisexual people for a while. Did he really say that shit? Like, is like, I want to be able to have this close sense of reality that some of these motherfuckers really do have because they feel entitled to believe that the only reason why certain shit happens is to piss them off. I really wish I had that sense of motherfucking entitlement. I don't, I, I, man, man, that's just like the, the all lives people matter. Like the fuck? Like you really are that entitled to believe that shit don't only happens to piss you off. Like what? Like how? How, motherfucker? How? Let's continue. Same-sex relationships, we think that we have scientific evidence to claim that these are rigid relationships and that people are inherently, biologically, scientifically, medically, um, nat nature-wise, gay. Um, that's the whole gist of it, D-Roy. D-Roy, D-Roy, let me, let me help you out with something, dog. Um... People like to choose who they want to fuck. We can test shit. Now, I know being an evangelical Christian, testing things is not your forte, especially since your God said you shouldn't test me and do what the fuck we say just because. Why don't you pretend like, why don't you pretend like this is the same shit that your God says, but with actual things that you can actually repeat in the process, like in the specific process. Let's continue. But now we got a new thing. Not good enough to say. Okay, Vegeta. I'm going to need you to do this for me. I see your chat and I need you to stop triggering Jill because he is such a fucking idiot. He's not going to read past the first three, the first three letters. I'm fucking with you. Go ahead. Have fun with that. Oh, we support 
two same-sex lovers, women, that are women, wanting to get married. And we support two men that love each other, wanting to get married, have so-called holy matrimony in a gay relationship. That's not good enough anymore. We didn't already Wait, what's holy matrimony like in a why is why are those two things mutually exclusive? Like, I don't get that part. Somebody help me out with that. Why is holy matrimony and homosexual relationships are why are they mutually exclusive? I mean, like, I get why it may have been bad in a time where the only reasons why you get married is because you want to actually legally transfer your farm from your ownership to your sons and the persons next door, you know, by his, by their daughter or some shit. But nowadays we're fucking capitalists own everything and we can barely own the fucking air to breathe. But up now, dog, really? Is that what, is that the hill you're going to die on dog? Let's continue. Already got to the point to where, oh, this lady here, what is her name? God is Gray. Miss Gray got people coming to her channel that are bisexual. And Miss Gray calls herself Christian. I'm sorry, I'm lost. I, I don't, where's the problem that somebody is, like, Where's the problem here? I'm just lost about this one. Please, somebody help me. Where's the problem? See, no, Regina, I'm going to actually say this. It's not that people are forcing. It's just that if it's permissible, if nothing is true, everything is permissible, that means he can actually finally, you know, enjoy the lifestyle that he wants to have. I mean, like, this is a man, and when people think that I'm just, like, making fun of him by being repressed or some shit, he literally says somebody had penis hands. Yes, there's a video out there where he's talking about penis hands. Let's continue. Like, fingers and penis hands. Yeah, let's continue. And these, these bisexual people, and by the way, Miss Gray did not say anything about bisexual people being a legit relationship or having legit relationship. How are you going to have a, re a, re a legit relationship? It ain't either one. So now we don't only justify same-sex relationships, but we got but we have to justify straight out whoredom. First of all, there is no slut shaming on this channel at all. If you want to, if as long as they're consenting adults, you want to fuck whoever you want to fuck. You have my, damn, you don't need my blessing because you're going to do it anyway. You don't need my permission. You don't, um, you don't get my criticism as long as it's two consenting adults and you're not being dishonest. That's, that's just it. That's, that's it. That's how it works. So dog, why the fuck do you think that you actually should be the arbiter of who is being chased or not. Dude, we know you ain't being chased by anybody. Ah, uh, you see what I did there? You see what I did? Straight out promiscuousness. Because you can't marry bisexuality. Yeah, you can. What was it? Massachusetts that they actually started recognizing polyamorous relationships? Like, the yeah, I think they did. <laughs> but let's continue. See what I'm saying? See how there's got to be rules. There's got to be guidelines. I'm going to say it again. There's just things you don't do. And anybody who thinks that they can come up and call themselves a Christian and they don't have to sacrifice anything. Oh, my. Yes, Christians all know about sacrificing. Just like God, he sacrificed his son who was himself to himself all to get rid of death by spending a weekend and dead. 
but somebody who lives to eternity spent less than three days dead. Actually, um, half a day, a day, then another, like, part of a day dead. He knows about sacrifice. Let's continue. Okay, then you don't understand the whole point of the cross. You don't understand the whole point of what the scripture is saying when it says, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. You have no clue what the scriptures are saying. You have not been given a gift by the Holy Spirit like this woman here, Miss Gray. She keeps talking about the Holy Spirit like, forget what the Bible says. Let's just rely on the Holy Spirit or whatever that crazy spirit is listening that you listen to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything else in between. Can we actually, just actually admit that a lot of Christianity is, well, if you're not saying exactly what I want you to say, then you must be, you must be wrong. It's a demon. It's a liar. Versus just like, no, like, I just don't agree with you. And we don't know until we, quote unquote, get to heaven. It's always this. Well, if you're not doing exactly how I want you to do, then you must be wrong. You must be evil. You must be doing some shit that is completely against what God says. But let's continue. Okay. What's wrong with being gay? Well, if I believe, first of all, that there is nothing pagan, if I'm a Christian and I actually believe that there is nothing pagan about homosexuality. Wait, when did homosexuality become a marker of your religion? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe because I'm tired right now. Maybe because, you know, I'm just... I'm really into Minecraft. I'm really trying to do my Minecraft thing. I, I, I've i never known, like, the marker of a religion is how... I, I just... That's something I can't wrap my mind around. That just broke my mind. Like, how is being pagan... How is being homosexual being pagan is it that as soon as you become a christian you lose that sense of you know a guy wanting to suck cocks like like a, a woman that wants to just like dive into the dive into the 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 the, the, the JJ. like if you like do you lose that when you become a christian i know people that try to hide the shit or may go to conversion therapy or force their kids to conversion therapy, which is fucking torture, literally torture. But it's just like, I don't see how that works. There is nothing obviously, you know, um, observingly, if that's a word, okay? It's Even not. <laughs> about two men really, 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 if they really, really, really are in love, like a man and a woman would be in love. If it's the same thing, it's not. But let's say I'm a Christian and I believe. So here's my thing. What's not the same thing about it? Like, I'm just I'm just saying. Like, what's not the same thing about it? Is it because they can't specifically create a children a child between the two of them? Okay. By that case, a straight man and a straight woman who can't create children between the two of them also aren't really in love and this is like it is mind-blowing to me because you're just you know dehumanizing people to the point of if they can have kids or not that's some sick shit that is literally some shit was you're more concerned with somebody's outcome of breeding you the next generation of gullible idiots instead of being concerned with are these two people good and actually care for each other that I, that I would be a little bit more concerned or focused on are these two people toxic for each other or they're helpful for each other or shit like that versus 
if they can make babies come out the hole. But let's continue. Believe that. Okay. Let's say I believe that two men can really, really love each other the way love is understood. The way we understand. You get the feeling that he's probably saying it because some man broke his heart. I ain't just saying. I'm like, let's just continue. Love between two romantic people or love between two people that will spend their lives together in so-called holy matrimony. Let's say that I'm a Christian and I understand that y'all really, really, really love each other. Okay. It's not. That has nothing to do with the fact that God did not die for your homosexuality to surface. Wait, so if we're going to be this very specific about one sin, why don't we be this specific about all the other sins? Like, why not be this? Why is somebody actually being gay so much more wrong than somebody who lies or somebody who abuses people? Both any type of way you can think abuse people. Why is homosexuality the one grievous sin that it deserves to be condemned in hellfire versus some of the shit that people just do to each other just because they are just shit people like what why is homosexuality such a big fucking thing to these people i know why i definitely know why and it's not having to do anything about them running away from their own repressed feelings or guilts or shit like that and it probably isn't you know when i say that they run away from a repressed thing i'm not even saying that you know they're closeted homosexual what i'm saying is they have some part of what they think is bad about sex that they don't want to actually get out that they may like. I mean, like, maybe D-Roy isn't somebody who has a hang-up because he is secretly, like, G-Man bi or something like that. Maybe he likes to get spanked. Maybe he likes that auto-asphyxiation while he's, you know, jagging it. Like, you know, maybe that's his thing, and maybe... Maybe he feels that is really bad. But, dog, we can tell your fucking fear is showing. Let's continue. Or that your homosexuality might have more homosexual abundance. He died that his people, who sacrifice everything, everything, to follow him. He died that they might be set apart and be his own special peculiar people. Separate from what, folks? Separated from the world. Where does homosexuality begin and end? It does not leave this planet. It belongs to the world. I'm going to have to say this, and, like, please bear with me when I say this. Like, this whole thing of, like, I'm special, so yay me. Like, besides the victim narrative that, of course, D-Roy is actually doing with this, it's it's horrifying that it's so many people that you know ignore the that if you are if you you are a mammal there are homosexual acts that happen for fucking mammals like this is a this is a legit thing that mammals like fucking sex like Mammals really like sex. Like, mammals, like, literally, like, getting their fucking rocks off. And the fucking primate mammals, oh, those motherfuckers are, man, is, if they could, boy, they would just fuck all day. As a matter of fact, some of the primate mammals that are cousins, because we're fucking primates, try to at least to fuck all day. And it's fucking awesome. <laughs> but let's continue. So when you say 
oh, well, you know, we need to fight to be gay. You don't need to fight with nobody to be gay. Just be gay. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody going nuts about you being gay. But when you try to come over here like this, like Miss Gray here, when you try to come over here and try to like talk about people on the fence and talk about um, people that you feel are going through something that you have something in common with, and you put God in the middle of that. Hold up. God don't suffer um, the way we do. God don't have gay tendencies. God ain't looking at nothing. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just miss something? Nope. Nope. Like, did I just miss that he said that it's suffering to have gay tendencies? Like, did he just admit that he may be suffering with gay tendencies? Like, d -Roy, it's not a sufferer, dog. Like, you know, I... I I admit, if you like stroking it a little bit too hard, man, you may be suffering, but it's not a suffer to be attracted to people that you find attractive, dog. As long as they're not, you know, unconsenting adults or children, cool, have at it, hoss. Enjoy yourself. It's a celebration. Don't do that, man. That Puritan bullshit of being ashamed of your sexuality. That's not fun, man, for no one. D-Roy may be, may be walking around with a third leg up here. All because he's scared to, like, you know, give it, like, because he's scared that the, the, the bad thoughts that make his pee-pee hard may send him to hell. Like, no, man, like, for real? Like, no, don't do that, man. Don't, don't allow for yourself to be caught up in that shit. Let's continue. Nobody. Okay. Um, you know, God ain't, God don't have crushes on other gods. God don't have crushes on men. He don't even have crushes on women. Okay, I hate to be cartoonish. Wait, what? Like, did he just really say that like that? Did he just really say God may have crushes? Like, at what point... Does that form in your mind that, hey, to prove a point, like, I, I'm going to use this to prove a point. Like, no, man, that's that's not how this works, dog. Let's continue. But, you know, because y'all don't get it. Like, where does God have to endorse your sexuality in any time, place, century, because he made you like that. People are always saying God made you and all this other good shit. Well, if he did it, then he's going to have to endorse it unless, you know, he made a mistake. Unless he made a mistake, he must endorse it, right? Um, the, the, uh, Divine command theory. If God makes it, then it must be right. Right? That's what you're going to admit to right that's what you're going to say right let's continue situation anywhere where where does god have to endorse anything that we do except for what he has expected from us through his word where do you get off assuming that oh well I talk to God all the time, the Holy Spirit, like Miss Gray, the Holy Spirit. She say Holy Spirit one more time. I'm a mix. I'm not going to say that. Okay. Up. Oh, did D-Ray almost get a TOS? Did D-Ray almost get a TOS? Is he mad about the Holy Spirit? Fuck. Let's continue. Um, I started to say something very secular. I learned this week. People are starting to watch my content. That. Okay. People are finally. People are starting to watch my content. In real time. People that I actually. See every day on the street. Are starting to watch my content. I'm be careful. And Christians. That I know. That I go to church with. Are starting to watch my content. So. 
I'll try, even though I'm dealing with a very, very uh, secular group of people. So he knows some of the shit that he say doesn't pass muster. And like, to be honest with you guys, people in my real life, I, they know I put out my YouTube channel out there and shit like that. And so, like, I don't, like, hide the fact that I do YouTube. Quite frankly, it's actually fucking hilarious to me um, that, like, people in my life know as little about my YouTube channel as they do. And it's not that, and again, it's not that something that I hide, but it's just, like, I'm not ashamed of the shit that I do on YouTube. I'm not ashamed of the, the shit I say on YouTube. Now, do I, you know... Curse like this in front of my mother? No. But that's because, yo, I'm just not going to have that that type of language in front of my mother. But, oh, no, we have discussions about the way I feel about society all the time. I'm not going to fucking hide that. I'm not ashamed of who I am. Goddamn, like, if you think that you have to be ashamed of who you are, D-Roy... Maybe, maybe you may be doing it wrong. Well, let's continue. All the time, um, I, you know, we're that one Christian with a pure heart that might watch my channel. I'll try to watch what I say. The rest of y'all, I don't care about. Okay. Oh, how Christian of you. How much is that? How much of a groin of your ministry that that would actually pretell that it pretell that you know, you don't care about what other people think because for some reason they're undeserving of the shit that you actually are trying to win them over for Christ and shit. But let's continue. Because your victimization is starting to get on my last nerve. Like, Wait, other people are being a victim, D-Roy? Other people are being a victim. Come on now, D. Roy. Come on, dog. That. Come on. Come on. Let's continue. You can't make God accept you. You didn't make God save you, Miss Gray. If you're saved at all. If you're saved at all, you didn't make God save you. He already died on the cross for those that would choose Him, accept Him. But you can't make Him do anything. That he don't want to do. The Bible says. Wow. I wonder if he realizes that. I don't think he realizes that. He is literally trying to. Test somebody else's face based on. His criteria. But let alone somebody do that for him then he would have a motherfucking fit. Like, D-Roy, if he had to go by the same standards that he's trying to put all these other people go to go by because somebody actually tests him that way, he would have a motherfucking fit all five foot two of his ass. He would have a fucking issue. And you know what? I would understand if he had an issue because... No one should actually try to test somebody's faith based on the fact that, well, I don't think you're Christian enough. Except this motherfucker will test somebody's faith and then turn back around and say, you shouldn't question me. Oh, right here. Let's continue. God. No man comes to God. No man comes to Christ, rather, less God draws him. And Miss uh, Far Away Distance here understands that, okay? No man comes to Christ, less God draws him. But Miss, but Miss, um, what is her name? Uh, gray here. Miss God is gray, and God is not gray. Seems to think that um, the church has made us victims, and we can have God despite what they've done to us. And if you're trying to separate, Miss Gray. So one of the things that like gets me about 
like motherfuckers like this. They are so quick to say how somebody else isn't a Christian, but also so quick to fall in line with somebody who they believe is super Christians and request like nothing is to 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 be questioned about what they say. And quite frankly, I'm sick of this shit because what it does, it just fosters people to just treat other per- people like shit and then rest behind the laurels of, well, well, I, you know, this particular group, this particular group right here is shit. And, um, Ooh, we prove it because what the Bible says and my version of the Bible works because my version is obviously right. And your version is obviously wrong. And so that's why, you know, I have the right to say what the fuck I want to say to you. And when somebody turns it around on them, like God is great is doing saying like, Hey, hold on. Some of the things that y'all that y'all are saying, maybe it isn't what we need to be. It's almost as if God is great is making the deist argument about God and how a lot of these other cats are just being super thick, you know, theocracy coming down. So let's continue. And it sounds like you are a new classification of Christians from the typical Christian. Okay. I got news for you, Miss Gray. Okay. God is one. So great. If you're not being a big and hateful, spiteful, homophobic, and in some cases, racist asshole, you're not being a true Christian. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Let's continue. God is one. One family, one church, one culture. He ain't everybody's denomination. He ain't everybody's religion. Okay? So, if if I'm a Christian and you're a Christian, Ms. Gray, what you think is going to happen up in glory? Oh, oh, we're all up here now, the bigots, okay? They're going to learn today. No, I don't think so. I think those that went to hell, they didn't already learn today. And us that went to be... Do you guys see it as strange that a lot of these people that are fire and brimstone, like, fantasize about people going to hell? Like, to a point where it's just like, Oh, 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 revenge is fucking sweet. Like, I I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to send even my worst enemy to hell. It's not something that I feel that, you know, should be done. It's not something that I feel that would be great. I wouldn't want anyone going to hell. Not even, you know, this idiot Jill that's on my channel. So let's continue. With the Lord, because we accept him for who he is. We don't try to change who he is. We accept him for who he is. Okay? I believe that we won't even be worried about whether somebody bigot or not bigot or anything because we'll be too busy. Sucking that God dick. That's what we're going to be busy doing if we go to heaven. We'll be sucking God's dick. Praising and worshiping the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. If you don't, we're going to send you to hell with the rest of the unbelievers. That's that's what's going to happen. If you don't praise God. Hey, hey, you're not praising God enough. You're not praising dear leader enough. You better praise him. Praise, praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him when the sun goes down. But let's continue. Doing what we work so hard to be able to do, and that is see him as he is. People hate order and rules. The Bible says that people's deeds are evil because they. Re- now, mind you, we are thirty minutes into his video. Got an hour into mine, um, and he still hasn't made mention of this particular video and what it actually means. Like, he could have did this video 
without the video playing in the background. Now, I get it. If you wanted to actually just use them as their picture and say, this is this person and this is the picture that I want to use, that's fine. But he is literally ranting like an old fucking man into the motherfucking sea talking about how, oh, people just want to sin. Oh, I, I, I'm a victim. Oh, I need to change my depends. But let's continue. Refuse the light. And you can know that they refuse the light and that they're not in the light because their deeds are evil. Okay. Wait. I'm confused. What are we talking about now? Like, what are, what are we talking about? People doing deeds in the light and in the darkness. And first you're talking about you people that are homosexual wants to be just out and about and proud of the fact of what they're doing, but they're trying to keep it in the dark. I'm sorry, d -Roy, I don't think you've thought this one through, man. Let's continue. Okay. The Pharisees came after Jesus and they came after his disciples. Why? Because their deeds were evil. They were not ready to accept Christ, even though he was prophesied and some of them watched the prophecy to see when and how he would come. But yet when he He's trying to preach. God, he's trying to preach now. And one of the things that I don't get, and bear with me, Jesus wasn't the only prophet running around um, Judea during the turn of the common era. He wasn't. He was one of the ones. And um, I know Christians want to make this special exception, but no, Jesus was real in all the rest were just lying or charlatans and all that other good shit. Um, but granted, like the priesthood and the the zero BCE, they were trying to concern with keeping their power. And, you know, fuck the people that want to keep power by oppressing other people. I don't give a fuck what century or age you're in, but um, yeah, dog, that's. That's, they weren't exactly, didn't have anything that was specifically different that they saw in Jesus that they didn't see in other people, according to the beliefs. But of course, you know, make beliefs and shit. He came, they received him not. But yet, they should have kept some potatoes. When they hung him on that cross, they felt that he'd done some injustice to them. Well, you know, if you read the book of Isaiah, Mr. Pharisee, if you read the book of Joe, Daniel, even King David, you'll see that this was prophesied, that he was coming. Is there a book of David? There is no book of David. Oh, my God. There is no book of David. There's a book of Daniel, but there's no book of David. There's a Kings. There's a Chronicles. There's a Samuel. But there's no book of David. Oh, wow. You think Mr. Super Christian, Mr. Life Applications Officer, would actually know that there's no book of David. There's a song of Solomon's where we're drinking sweet nectar from her navel. By the way, the navel was below the battle, but but that's 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 here nor there. Let's continue. People hate order and they hate rules. God is not great. God is one. Miss Gray. God is not gray. God is one. One everything. One sexuality. One people. One culture. Wait. I don't think he knows what he just said. Oh my God. Wait a minute. I don't think he realized what he just said. I, I don't think he realized what he just said. Because if he did, he wouldn't have said it. But let's continue. One trinity. One, one church. One family. One spirit. God is one. Everybody wants to separate themselves from Christians. But when the Christians actually, you know, begin to enjoy that separation and brag about their, their walk of faith in God, then y'all get mad and want to play victim. Pastor Dow, even. He thinks he can separate Israelites from Christians. First of all, first of all, 
no one cares if you want to separate yourself and be a Christian, Buddha, Islam, um, you know, uh, a Muslim. It doesn't matter. It's when you want to separate yourself and actually do shit like, I don't know, try to force people to be or follow your rules like you ignorant ass Christian dominion dominionist because this is some Christian dominionist shit like oh no the world should actually follow the teachings of God and actually do everything that God says in his word and then they should make sure that you know anybody who is doing outside of that should be punished with any punishment that is like literally he he is doing the thing he is doing the fucking thing but let's continue. Let me tell you something. God is not coming back for the Israelites. God's coming back for his church. Wow. That 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 is so anti-Semitic. Wow. Like wow. Wow. Like that wow. I, I have a problem with these people who actually are so anti Semitic that they think that God is some kind of way is like once like up oh, lo looks like Jesus came, so I can just be shit to the to my chosen people because they didn't pray hard enough. Like, literally, D Roy, dog, this whole thing about, you know, your perceived, the perceived, like, going to hell of the, the original chosen people, dog, that. That anti Semitic anti Semitic uh anti Semitic views aren't looking good on you. But I guess nothing would look good on you, you know, all five foot two of you. But let's continue. What just happened? Am I still on? Yes, I am. Get that again. God is coming back. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't take the old books to make your books, but yeah, the old books are just completely wrong. Get the fuck out of here. For his church, his bride, and I don't care what denomination you think is best or what religion you think is best, you better already be his. Because if you are none of his, all your religion and all your faith and all your fighting and arguing and and so-called trying to be a critical thinker, okay, and fight for the rights of others and stop the bigots and like Deroy, Deroy. It's you. You sound incredibly bitter. You sound incredibly bitter, dog. What rights has no one fought for you for? I'm like, we can always t already tell from your previous videos that you've had on your channels that you don't believe in certain, you know, narratives of being a victim because you don't coddle black people or you, you, you know, you don't like specific things about you know how the political landscape is actually it's not the 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 I don't know if you call it victimization that you think some people have but dog I'm gonna, I'm here to tell you like You're fucking up, dude. You're fucking up. But let's continue. And all like that. All that's going to be in vain. If you don't belong to God, all that's going to be in vain. Purity in the church, there's nothing wrong with that, Miss Greg. It's not that the, the fact that many Christians are getting divorces just like everybody else, Miss Greg, doesn't change the fact what God has commanded us to do. For this reason, a man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife, and the two shall be what? One. 
<laughs> the two shall become one. The two shall become one. I'm f- where the fuck did that movie get that movie from? That reference from what movie did I get it from? Shit. Let's continue. Not polygamy. Not. Not. Two sames. Two same sexes. Not. Wait. Did he just say not polygamy? Did. <laughs> Did he just say not polygamy? Like, did does he not realize the shit that he just says? Like, you know that most of the founding far- fathers in the beginning of the Judeo-Christian religion, they were poly- polygamous. They literally had multiple wives and multiple and, and those wives generated the multiple heirs and descendants. Like, this is in the Bible you claim to read, D-Roy. Let's continue. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. For this cause, a man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. What part of that is gay? I mean, like, you know... Just going by what you described, none of it. But if you don't understand metaphors and similes, my man, it it doesn't literally mean that they're going to become one flesh. It it it's just a a metaphor for the union that they bring. They they don't actually just merge together. Like they're not doing a fusion dance. When they when somebody gets married, no, that's not how that works. Let's continue. What part of that is about your boyfriend who got you pregnant and you still don't feel that you need to get married? Oh God, here we go with these. Is no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriends. Oh my God, keep miss me with that bullshit. Swear to God, damn. It's a turn of phrase. God damn. I know D-Roy is kind of pissed because he couldn't select his daughter's um, husband like he really wants to. And no, that's not anything creepy about that because his daughter turned out to be um, a lesbian. But like, no, it's nothing creepy about, you know, having a boyfriend or uh, uh, not wanting people to have boyfriend and girlfriend because... You just want them to jump straight to be married like that ever helps. But let's continue. But you feel you want to sit up here and tell the rest of us how much bigots we are because we continue to say that I don't see the LGBTQ community as positive in scripture. I mean, they're not wrong. And I am getting tired, guys. I I can't do any more of this. Um, I have 20 minutes of this left and it just broke me. Um, I want to thank everybody who's watched today. Please, please guys, please like, and subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 250 subscribers on YouTube. And then, um, with us reaching that goal, um, we also want to try to make a hundred followers on Twitch. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to head, take my ass to bed. Um, I'm going to actually try to be back here the same back time, the same back channel tomorrow where we can actually finish this. Other than that, guys, I want to thank you all for watching and please enjoy the rest of your night. Peace. What do you think that these executives are afraid you're going to do to white America? Um, probably uh, stop some racism. Stop racism. Yeah. I'm probably afraid of that because then people people don't hate each other and people start talking to each other and then they start talking to each other they find out <clears throat> who's the problem. Which is? Uh, greedy people. Greedy people. I, I have a couple things I want to ask you there. Do you, do you really think that some of the guys that you dealt with at yeah. NBC, no, yeah. no names, right? Because right. there's lawsuits for that too. That some of these guys really want to promote racism? Actively, or is it a subconscious? I, I just think it's part of capitalism, is to promote racism, you know, right? In order to uh, 
make things work. If you feel better because you're white and you can get a job, uh, you use that. I mean, you know, I would. Absolutely. Say, I'm sorry, Jack, but shit, they say I'm white. I'm going to use yeah, this. That's right. Absolutely. Get this job. I'm hungry, you know. But, uh, and that separates people. So they keep people separated, and that keeps them from thinking about the real problem. That's, that's as simple as I see it. Probably it's not that simple, but. Now, all right, you and I are I, about the same age, right? We're in our mid-30s. How long is it going to take before guys who think like you, and I say guys who think like me, people who don't want to have racism in the country, people who don't want to be oppressing any minority, whatever mm -hmm. it is, sexual, whatever minority, really get into positions of power and can change things? You can't get in a position of power, it seems, if you think like that. It seems that the only time you get in a position of power is if you like the people that are in power. To me, I mean, that's the way it goes. I mean, people that get to become executives become like the people that were already executives. I don't know, maybe... They go in with good intentions, but it eats them up. It's like a cesspool, you know, it just gets on you and it starts eating. The system eating. levels them. Pretty soon it's Is all gone. Is that what a cesspool sounds like? Yes.